so today we're going to go on a magical journey up my road. So this is, that's my place over there. Show you guys something. Dun, 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 dun. But, so this pile of dirt, <laughs> they've tried to fix this multiple times. Now they finally, they finally dug everything out, looks like. It's the tractor, not tractor, the lift. But yeah, they've completely dug out. You know how far down it goes. Look at that. So they're putting down all that new pipe. Uh, all the tools and whatnot. Look at that. Yeah, so somebody lives up there. Yeah, up there. They haven't been able, I can't imagine they've been able to get around. Well, I know they haven't been able to get past here, and there's no other way around. It's all trees and woods, and then that's the way out. So, yeah. It's a mess, man. Anyways, I was about to go on my walk and wanted to share that with you guys. Alright, so I'm going to take you guys. The last video, you saw that thing down there. They didn't use all that pipe, I just realized that. But, walking down, show you guys the aftermath of what all they did. So, I mean, you guys can pretty much see it. But, uh, while we're walking, currently reading the, uh, the Hobbit just started. I cheated a little bit. We we're supposed to start on August 1st. I actually started on the on July 31st. So there's that. But uh, yeah. So this is what they did. They filled it all in with the dirt. There's the yeah. See where the pipe comes out now. So they filled it all in. Cleared out a bunch of trees over here. Used to be trees all through here. Looks like they wanted to tear that tree down, but they didn't get to it. And they have a smaller pipe going into the bigger pipe. Still got some of their tools out there, but yeah. So that's the uh, it's a creek, or I don't know what you, I guess it's a creek that runs behind through the middle of my property. So, anyways, so that's the update on that. I'm about to go for a walk out to the uh, church where I normally film at. I'm not sure if I'll video that or not. If I do, I'll see you then. Before we go out to the uh, to where I'm going to be walking, I want you guys to get a look at this joker. Oh, oh yeah, he's big. For reference, there's my hand. Can you see him still? He's huge. about the half the size of my hand. I know Sarah out in Australia won't be impressed, but <laughs> I am.
here we are. Oh, let's try to get this away from my face a little bit. All right, so uh, I'm on lap seven or eight, something like that. I haven't really been keeping track. I got the app on my phone, so I'll check that in a minute. But uh, I'm trying to finish up A Clockwork Orange by Anthony Burgess. I'm also uh, just started the Lord of the Rereads uh, with uh, The Hobbit. Started that one, and I forgot how entertaining that first chapter is. It's probably the only thing that the movie version got right. The Peter Jackson version. How chaotic and everything it is. But uh, there's also the bit about how golf was invented. I thought that that part, that's one of my favorite parts. Um, but yeah, so I'm only on, I only finished the first chapter today. On to the second chapter tomorrow. What a load of horse shit. <sighs> okay, so it is uh, August 3rd, I believe. It is a gray day out here. August 3rd in central Alabama, and it is only like 65 degrees. We're going to have a cold winter, y'all. Cold winter. Maybe I'll be out here walking in the snow. Like, I did. used to do that when we were living up in Maine. Walk back and forth to work because uh, my leg didn't work. I, I didn't, it worked. It just, I didn't trust it enough to drive, so I'd walk back and forth to work. Where were we up there? Anyways, so somebody's out here grilling hamburgers. I can smell it, and the, the struggle is real. Uh, I'm listening to The Shining right now. I'm also reading, what, I'm reading five books right now. Uh, let's see here. Floating Dragon, which I'm struggling with, but I'm going to make it through it because I want to see what all this inspiration for it uh, rumors are about. And then, let's see here, what else am I reading? Uh, uh, the Phantom Tollbooth, which I'll probably be done with tonight or tomorrow. And The Hobbit during the for the Lord of the Rereads and then uh, the Frederick Bachman book things that he needs to tell his son or whatever yeah so that's what I'm reading but uh, I got about 10 more laps to go <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna let you guys go for now all right so I'm uh, I'm wrapping up my walk it's dropped at least another maybe five degrees out here it's actually kind of cool the Anytime the breeze picks up, it hits me. I kind of shiver. I was listening to The Shining. They just got to, I just got to part two, which is closing time, I think it is. Uh, <laughs> anyways, so it, it kind of fit the, the scenario, you know, going into, going into, I guess, fall, winters, whatever. Anyways, also, uh, there's a, there's a part that I just listened to where Danny's talking to Wendy and he asks her what flattery is she explains it to him and he goes so it's like lying for fun i was like that's one of those simple truths that stephen king gets right all the time man i'm out on my my road today so i look at it so uh i'm hoping i get home <laughs> before i get dumped on i'm hoping but we'll see uh, it's actually really nice out here. It's a, uh, I'm sweating my ass off today because it's humid, but it's about 72, 73. Again, this is August, August 4th. Hear that thunder? Yeah. Um, it's August, man. It's so cool for August in central Alabama. <sighs> I don't know what's going on. This poor planet. Okay, so, all right. So I'm not supposed to be over here, but uh, it's just an empty lot. And I want to take you over to show you the, the lake. This is about, I don't know, about eighth of a mile from my place, from my property. And I uh, come down here sometimes, just hang out by the water. I'm not going to go all the way down there. Because I don't want to walk through all these weeds. I see the ducks out there, man. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. And I'm already hitting the weeds. Yeah pretty uh, that's where the rich people live <laughs> Way out of. but all this from the other side of those trees back for a while is my property I'll show you guys around at some point in time
I don't know if you can hear that, but this is still August 5th. And uh, yeah, I made it home just in time. It's uh, there's the office, there's my mom's place, and our place. Yeah, it's a mess out here now. Good luck. So, here we are. This is my road again. You go down here, you guys notice it's not as dreary as the last episode, but it's the same road. I want to show you guys this. Let me go over. It's hot out here today. Gone are the days of uh, 65 and 72. It's about 83 out here today. It's been fluctuating between 81 and 83. But this is a tree reserve. I, th I can't actually see my screen, so I hope you guys can see it. But there's a tree farm. Certified family forest. Y'all see it? Like I said, I can't see my screens because it's so bright out here. But anyways, I guess I'll see it in editing. Looks like it. Anyways. And that goes back there. Yeah, they literally grow trees out here. Uh, two oak and treasure forest. Yeah, I like this little area. But this is, if any of you are reading Cruelty and Joy, or if you plan on reading it, it mentions in the first episode about a tree farm that uh, Bean calls Doctor Land. It's actually a, a retired doctor that owns. The tree farm so that's where i got the idea from most of my stuff is uh, let's stay up here most of my stuff is based on a uh, you know experience experiences i've had or locations i've been to that kind of thing okay so um today is august 6th we just looked at the tree farm i got something in my shoe it's annoying the hell out of me we just looked at the tree farm i finished the phantom toll booth this morning fantastic Fantastic book. Children's book or not. Fantastic read. One of my favorite reads from this year, 2019, easily. Um, probably going to look up some more. Like, uh, I don't know, Marianne Liangle. Is that how you pronounce it? Some other stuff my buddy Jim mentioned. Uh, Roald Dahl. You know, those people. Fantastic book. Um, I forgot how much I loved it. I'll do my review um, in the next couple days. Uh, in fact, that might be up before this, but, um, so I'm also really loving the reread of The Hobbit. Uh, I'm listening to that while I do my strength exercises. I'm using a dumbbell app and my weightlifting strength training is about 15 minutes a day. And then I walk for another 15 to 30 minutes a day, depending on, you know, how much I can do. That's what I've been doing. This is day six of that. Started all this, this new routine on the first. No, it's the fifth. Fifth day of that. Sorry. So yeah. Um, also, I'm reading uh, Floating Dragon with my buddy Brandon. And it's by Peter Straub. I, I mean, it's starting to get good. But the first 200 pages, man, I just don't see much point. But then I remember how Ghost Story and Shadowland was like. One to two hundred pages of build-up and puzzle pieces before finally he sets everything into motion. The the balls it takes to do that, or the ovaries, if you're a lady. Hey, so I'm uh I'm out here at the church track again. You guys know this place by now, I would assume. But uh, I just got word before I got out here that my limited edition of Joe Hill's Horns will be here this week. So expect an unboxing video for that. Uh, it's the Sun Up Press edition. I've been looking forward to it forever. Um, you guys go over to the Sun Up Press's website and look at the pictures, or you can just wait for my. It is. It, it looks like a fantastic addiction. Addition. I am pissed off because I missed their edition of Misery, which looked fantastic, also. But anyways, yeah, you're gonna have an unboxing this week. I'm super excited. All right, so 
it's way, way too hot out here. So I'm only walking half my distance today. You can see how bright the sun is. There's clouds everywhere. You can see. But uh, yeah, it's just too hot. So this is my last lap. I think it's lap seven. I usually do 14 to 18 laps. Uh, but yeah. So uh, I wanted to. Uh, I just want to explain some of the clips you've seen so far that have absolutely no context. Um, we went to go see Spider-Man Far From Home yesterday. Today is the seventh, I believe, so it was the sixth. And I uh, enjoyed the hell out of it. I liked it much more than Homecoming. And uh, Chris was sitting there grinning like a fool the whole time. These earbuds in, I'm not even listening to anything anymore. But uh, it was really good. I said I liked it more than Homecoming. And I liked Homecoming. Homecoming was pretty good. But uh, one thing of note is both of the after credit scenes for this one were better than like all the rest of the MCU put together, I think. It just, they didn't feel superfluous. They felt like they had a purpose other than, you know, just Easter eggs. So, anyways, I think this is going to be the last video I shoot before I piece all this stuff together. Wayne and Sarah said they didn't care what I talked about as long as I just talked. So, that's what you're getting this time. We'll see if people actually like it. Um, and also, if I keep them shorter, it doesn't take as long to edit. So, until next time, I have been E. You have been you. It's been another walkie-talkie. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Bonus footage! Alright, so we were heading to maybe Montgomery to Trading Books or Birmingham to, uh, to Second and Charles. Got a load of books to either trade in or give away, donate, whatever. Probably about a hundred books here. Bye, my babies. You'll be missed. Uh, I'm kidding. <laughs> Probably would never have read any of these books. before they get it ready yeah uh, so we just spent uh, two and a half hours at uh, at second and Charles because they were behind they only had one person checking in books I unhauled about a hundred and I got maybe six or seven something like that I got stranded by Bracken McLeod I got uh, Mason Dixon by Thomas Pynchon a bunch of other stuff you'll see it in next month's book haul but yeah, so uh, we had to stop at the rest area, and that's where we're at now. I can't. I'm not good with the camera stuff, but anyways. Um, so I'm walking around because I can't stand sitting for too much longer. But uh, anyways, so look, squirrel. Squirrel! Ryan, squirrel! I'm wondering how close he's going to let me get. Bye, squirrel. Oh. Look at him off in the distance. It's the Lauren family. <coughs> Definitely gotta get out and walk around. Oh, it's an hour and uh, no, it's about an hour and twenty minutes. Or back and forth. So three hour round trip. But then we were there for two and a half hours. Anyways. It's good to walk around. Say hi, everybody. <laughs> Dan said. <laughs> Say hi, Chris. Hi. Vending.